Hi. So this is our NVIDIA Drive uh, CX computer. And the Drive CX computer is again based on our Tegra X1 processor. Um, this is actually powering basically all of Drive CX functionalities. And if you look at this, this is a comprehensive sort of single DIN uh, chassis that's expandable uh, through small extension boards that allow us to have functionalities for AM, FM radio, uh, digital audio broadcasting, S-Stars, uh, a cellular modem connection for data, and of course interfaces for cameras. And then of course we've got a really nice automotive connector that allow us to actually bridge into all the, the vehicle network specifics that might be part of a given vehicle. So to kind of show a, a software example of where what Drive CX can do, let me take you over to our kiosk. So what we've done is we've used our NVIDIA Drive Studio to actually create an entire user experience for Drive CX. And what we wanted to do was kind of give a reference design, a higher level entry point for saying, well, this is really what your Drive uh, CX uh, computer could do for you in the vehicle. So this is an example of basically an infotainment platform um, in vehicle. And this same platform could also be used to uh, drive your digital reconfigurable dash as well. And in the end, essentially what that does is that creates a, an entire digital cockpit experience. So with that, let me show you some of the functions. So first thing, I'll show you some really incredible 3D navigation. So this is basically a 3D asset database uh, for the city. And what you're seeing here is being rendered by our X1 processor. And the reason why this just looks you know, so stunning is that we're using basically our Maxwell uh, GPU in X1. And Maxwell has 256 cores to it. X1 as a, as a device has over a teraflops worth of, of power. So it's an amazingly powerful device. So that'll enable us to have functionality for navigation simultaneously while having media controls. The audio that you see and hear, or I'm sorry, the audio that you hear and the text that you see is basically a text-to-speech engine that's running on top of all of this. Um, with our Drive Studio, one of the things that we've been able to do is actually not only create a beautiful visual experience, but we've also been able to actually integrate third-party software tools or, or software applications. And one of them was uh, essentially a nuanced uh, text-to-speech uh, engine as well as speech recognition. Um, and on top of that, then the routing engine that's beneath this navigation is actually very real. Uh, it comes to us uh, from some work that we've done with a company at TC called TCS. And TCS's routing engine is actually enabling us to actually calculate from point A to point B. And this idea, and, and the reason why I'm, I'm bringing that up, is that the platform's totally software extensible, right? So you start with a certain level of functionality and you just continue to add to it until it's done as a product, if you will. And then the other thing I'd like to show you is something um, that I should have mentioned at the beginning, but this platform is actually running Android L. And what I just did is I pulled up a connection to our Nexus 5 phone uh, that's here on the table. And this is basically Android Auto. So it's your Android functionality from your phone embedded into your automotive application. So we can do things like use Google Maps, from your phone. We can, as you saw a moment ago, we can pick an audio app to listen to, like Spotify or iHeartRadio. You know, just again, additional functionality that you can have as part of this, you know, overall cockpit experience. Uh, but again, the power of this all being provided to you by your Drive CX computer. And the last item I'll mention is what I started with is that on these interfaces we have some camera inputs. So one of the reasons why we have four camera inputs is so we can run a functionality that we call surround view. And so the, the power of X1 allows us again to do many things concurrently. So we can have this system doing an image processing uh, functionality for us uh, to actually stitch all of those camera inputs together to make a surround view uh, of what your car sees and even give you like a bird's eye view as we sort of perspective correct uh, the entire uh, camera feed, set of camera feeds. Um, but again, all of that runs concurrently with everything else that you'd want to have functional in your nav system as well. So in a nutshell, um, that's DriveCX.